Hello everyone. I'm testing a new camera to see whether this works better. Uh, I'm also testing whether the sound quality is better this time. So if you are online, do let me know whether the sound quality is, is better than before. Right, so um, this morning I couldn't do a cafe operation um, live stream because uh, the moment I start the cafe, um, the business just start, uh, customers just start to go in. So even at, until this point, uh, there's still customer walking in, which is good. Yeah, um, I think the weather helps uh, quite a bit better uh, because it stopped raining. So I think once it stopped raining, uh, people are more willing to come out. So for today, um, I'm just going to test this uh, SMEG uh, espresso machine, semi-automatic, with built-in grinder. Uh, I did a review on this quite a couple of weeks ago, and um, I haven't really tried it on a live stream. I did once, but it didn't really work very well, so I deleted the live stream away. So hopefully today is better. Right, so let me know um, if you can hear the sound. Um, clearly, right? Because how how is the image quality, right? Do let me know, right? Uh, I'm using a software to do the live stream, though, so I'm not really familiar with this software, so. Let me see whether I can see the chat from here. check whether uh, my stream is on just a moment I can see there are two concurrent viewers at the moment um, but I don't know why I couldn't see the chat here Oh, the quality is not very good I think it's... Hi Erica is, is the quality better? How is the sound quality? Because on my screen um, the quality Ah, okay, I have to switch to higher quality Ah, I okay well, I think the sound quality is better right now. I just mute myself. Okay. So I think this works much better. Alright, okay, so today we're going to start with this machine here. And uh, we have invented, not really invented, uh, created a blend. Right, it's called the Inferno Java. Right, uh, this is uh, designed for uh, more robust uh, medium rolls. Um, give you the oomph, uh, give you the caffeine kick uh, because there's a certain percentage of robust inside. So let's power up this machine. Uh, by the way, this machine is the machine from uh, SMEG, right? Which is uh, Smack. Uh, they are famous for producing a very uh, vintage looking, I would say. Uh, not really vintage, a very uh, old school kind of uh, design and I think they really win by design however this machine is pretty interesting because it's very similar to 
one of the machine I've done a review on, which is the Barsetto Bay O2. Right, that machine has got almost similar specs as this one. So I expect the performance of this machine to match up to that machine over there. Right? Uh, maybe next time I'll put these two machines side by side and let you see the comparison between the two. Right, but for now, let's power on the machine. Right. So a very, a very good design, I would say. Um, very balanced, very simplistic, very simplistic. Um, with single or double grind, right? Which means you can design uh, for the dose to be single or double from the grounded coffee, right? Uh, there's a single shot and double shot button, which is I think is programmable. Right, and the center pressure gauge which allows you to see your pressure as you extract the coffee. Right, and what this machine, what is so special about this machine, I think, is also the thermal dual thermal dual thermal block system, whereby it allows you to do uh, steaming of milk and extract coffee at the same time. It comes with a uh, sort of a three sixty rotational steam one. Right, so it's able to rotate and it's pretty stiff. Uh, it's good to be stiff sometimes because it will actually hold your steam uh, steaming at the, at a fixed position. But it is also not that good because if you want to adjust the steam tip, you have to push a little bit harder. So sometimes as a beginning, uh, as a beginner uh, in frothing milk, this is uh, a little bit too stiff may not be good. Um, but that really depends on how you use the steam one, right? So uh, next is the. Uh, 58 mm polar filter, so this is a uh, uh, standard commercial size 58 mm. But however, the, the you can see the polar filter fin is not the standard E61, right? There's three fins over here, which means you can't really use your other um, E61 group uh, polar filter on this machine. But all the other accessories should fit. For example, if you have a 58 mm dosing cup, right, it should fit right on top. Right, so it should fit right on top. Right, if you have a 50 mm dosing ring, right, it should fit on top too. Right, so all these will fit. Right, um, I have tried the machines. Right, uh, it comes with a silicon holder at the bottom here, which actually holds your polar filter. Right, so you insert. There's no activation from here. Right, the grinds uh, has to be activated by these two button here. Right. So let me see. Um, TW says that it feels like gravel with a different design. Um, I think, I think this is not the same as gravel, right? Uh, the closest match to this is the gravel dual boiler. Uh, but dual boiler comes with, of course, the dual boiler system. This one comes with dual thermal block. Uh, you can see on my counter there are three machines that all look very identical to each other. All has built in grinder. This one is from Solis, um, from Switzerland. Uh, inside is built in China. Smack SMEG also um, design. Um, I think it's an Italian design, but this inside, um, I think uh, I, I don't want to say what's inside here, but. Uh, from the similarity with the comparison with other machines, you will probably know where the internal comes from. Uh, it, it is also Chinese made, right? Uh, on, of course, on the far left is the DeLonghi uh, special, Specialist Star. I think this is the Prestigio, right? So it's a, with a tam, uh, temper in, in place, which means you can auto, you can actually tam. After you grind, you can tam directly, just like something similar to the Bravo uh, grind and in, Grind Impress, I think it's called. I, I, I can't remember the name. Right, so basically, uh, that's the difference. Right, uh, this machine has got it's slightly taller than the Solis, but it is very compact in size. The depth is less than 30 cm, so it is suitable and perfect display on your counter. Right, but what we are interested most is the quality of the coffee that comes out from this machine. So, heating up less than three minutes, I think one minute plus maximum two right it is actually up to temperature so once these two buttons stop flashing means the temperature is ready right so i'm gonna try the new beans today right it's pretty fresh but we're gonna we're still, gonna, we're still just gonna try it anyway right oh it smells really robust so 
copper is top loading, right? Similar to others, right? The silicon cover is pretty tight, right? This is pretty tight, right? So I think it will do a quite a good job in sealing the uh, the grinder to prevent air from getting inside. By the way, this is the temper that it comes with, very heavy, right? I think the weight itself. Let me measure the weight. This temper is very very heavy. It is. It has. It it feels like it has a substance inside that, right? To see, this is the uh, right flat, right full stainless steel, right, right. It weighs four hundred and forty-seven grams, right. This this temper itself, so it's very really very heavy, right. Uh, okay, so let's pour some coffee inside. Okay, first of all, I want to test. Um, does the grinder retain any coffee? So let's perch out any coffee that's inside. Right, currently the hopper is empty. Right, so let's dose maybe uh, 18 grams and see whether we are getting how much coffee are we getting out right but uh, initial dialing in uh, may need a bit of time so I will need your patience right so please give me some time to dial in the beans and get a good cup of espresso uh, by the way these blends of coffee uh, contain um, three different origins one from Vietnam the Dalat region, uh, one from the Indonesia Sumatra Mandalin, and the final one is actually the Indonesian too, but different region is the Java Robusta. Um, so let's taste how robust this espresso is. Right, the caffeine will be slightly higher than the normal Arabica because now it has a certain percentage of uh, Robusta inside, right? So this is 18. 0.3 grams of coffee. Let's take one bean out. Two beans. Okay, 17. Right, uh, 17.9. So let's dose in and see how it goes as it grind. So I hope I don't know. Let me lower the camera to let you see the grinding. Right, uh, see whether I can zoom in. Oh, not too bad. I'm trying different things <laughs> so I hope this will give you better image quality right so now let's see how it grinds The next time I grind, I'll put my flashlight over there <laughs> to get some of the lighting there. Right, so everything comes out. Let's test it without flapping. How much coffee are we getting out? So make sure this is zero out. You can see there's a mountain. I think there's still some coffee inside. I'll press one more time to grind. see the small mountain there uh, if you see on the on the drip tray cover there's no coffee at all so with 18 grams of coffee it should not over spill uh, you I don't think you need a um, dosing funnel or some sort but you'll be good to have but I'm not too sure whether a silicon holder actually can fit a dosing funnel there but you can you know what you can dose you can put your dosing cup below and then dose direct, which is possible if you don't want to dose direct to your pore filter. Right, so let's measure the uh, output of coffee. Okay, I have a friend who texts me, uh, Greg, asking me uh, when he can come down to taste the newly roasted coffee beans. So let's arrange that later. Right, slowly and move it up. Right. Right. Right, you can see it, it, it is a mountain. Right, so I'm going to transfer back to this dosing cup. Ah, cannot. Because my powder filter is already moist. So I think for this one, I will just dose directly. 
right? The next one I'm going to measure directly from the dosing cup, right? So, so let's see whether we can get a good shot. Our first try, right? Currently, right, my grind setting is at two step from zero, right? This grinder has got fifteen different settings. Sorry for the sound. I'm not too sure whether it's too noisy. Because I think this speaker uh, the, is, this mic is actually more sensitive. I think the reason why I'm getting all the muffled sound in my video is because my Samsung S21 Ultra 5G. I think the, the sound receiving is 40. So it always gives me the muffled sound, no matter how I do it. I get a road mic and it still sounds muffled. You know, the sound still sounds um, quite bad. And I've been wondering why. So that's why I decided not to use uh, my phone for recording anymore. Right? I'll wait for my S24 Ultra to come. Right? So I use the uh, temper provided. It's a pretty nice temp. Right? There's a little bit of coffee ground because of my transfer just now. Right, so, and uh, I think it's similar to the Breville. You're right. Uh, the screw is actually sunken in on the shower screen. And it is not protruding out. So this means that you can actually use a part screen, right? So let's use a part screen. Right, so let's use a part screen. Okay, so let's get some espresso. And to be honest, the pump is actually very, very quiet. Okay, look at the pressure that's going up. Okay, there's a print infusion. Oh, I think the pressure is too high. Let me show you the camera. Can you see? The espresso, the pressure is going all the way to the max. And the machine spring back because the pressure is too high. So that means to say we have to grind a little bit coarser, right? You can see this is the amount of espresso that comes out. Really very little. Alright, so let's try again. So since it's choking, so let me adjust two step. So now I will be grinding at one, two, three, four, the fourth setting from zero. Okay, let's knock out the puck and see how it goes, right? Right, knock out pretty nicely. Right, there's a little bit of retention of coffee, right? So let's throw this away. Okay, let's flush the power filter. Right, let's dose another 18 grams. And the hot screen I'm using is actually the super thin one, right? This is the super thin one from MHW3 Bomber. Right, that's why it says there. Okay, focus. Yes, it's espresso hot screen, right? Uh, foot grip stainless steel 304, right? Uh, they even say the mesh, right? The size of the hole is actually 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.18 millimeters there, right? Uh, 58.5 mm diameter right so let's measure another 18 grams and then we try again 
This time I'm going to dose direct into the dosing cup. Okay, 18 grams exactly. Right, so let me see the chat for a while. Right, so far it's good. There's no other question yet. Right, yes, uh, Erika, this catch cup is really quite nice. It's a diamond design outside. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah, and this also from, you know, the same brand. Okay, I'm not going to spray any water and you'll see uh, whether the coffee actually comes out. So let me show you very clearly. Right, I'll zoom in later and I'll give you better lighting. So let's pour in the beans. 18 grams in. Okay, I'm going to put the catch cup with my scale underneath. Okay, let me get some lighting there. There seems to be a bit of lagging there, I'm not too sure why. It says error, your YouTube is not responding open studio, but I just let's just go with it, right? Okay, let's on the light so they can see better. Alright, so let's dose. So let's see on the uh, weighing scale, right? How much coffee actually are we getting out? Okay, not too sure whether you can read that. Uh, probably doesn't show very well. Seventeen point seven grams of coffee. So there's actually a point three grams without flapping. Right. So let's try to flap it. Right, like what we usually do. What I mean is, you know, let's flap it this way. Oh, now I'm getting 18.5, <laughs> which means it actually retains quite a bit of coffee. Yeah, so let's scoop out the additional coffee. Get a spoon. We want to make sure that we are getting 18 grams. Alright, 18 grams. Okay, so now let's try a second time to brew the coffee. I think we'll change to a smaller scale. This scale reads better. Try this. Transfer. So I'm just I'm just going to use my use my hand to sort of lever it. Then I'm just gonna, I'm just going to tamp it down. Right with the pro temper provided. Nothing. Uh, nothing out of the uh, stock condition to be honest this temper feels really solid and tempts pretty well right let's 
let's pull on the park screen again. Let's hope that it can extract better this time. Okay. I will zoom in for a better view later on. So this is part and parcel of uh, testing out a new machine with the grinders and new bins. Okay, let's tear this. Um, one thing about this is it doesn't have any timer built in. Unlike the Solis, it has an LED timer built in which you can see the short timer. But uh, nowadays your scale comes with a timer as well. So you don't really need the built in timer. Alright, so let me switch on the light. Okay, so let's... Pressure is slightly lower than just now, uh, but it is still too high. Espresso is slowly flowing out, right? And <laughs> it just stopped by itself. And you can see the two button flashing means the pressure is actually too high. But we are getting slightly more espresso, right? So uh, we have to try again. All right. So let's dump this. Uh, anyway, let's try this. Let's try this espresso. Right. I, I bet it doesn't taste really good, right? It's very very uh, robust. Um, I would not say this is unpleasant. This is actually not too bad, but I taste a lot more bitterness. I think it's because of the uh, the extractions. Um, so let's try again. Right. So this time, right. Let's adjust the grinder. Let me zoom out. Right. Let's adjust the grinder. Again. So just now was at grind setting of four. So now let's go to six, right? Let's be a little bit more adventurous. Adjust uh, more steps to the coarser side. All right, same thing. I'm gonna grind um, 18 grams of coffee. All right, but this time let me purge all the coffee out first. See whether there's any retention. Okay, doesn't seem to come out anymore. All right, you can see the catch cup is actually clean. All right. Okay, so let's knock out the uh, coffee that's inside. Okay, knock out very nicely. Right, let's knock out the part here. Oh, knock out really nicely, right? Clean, let's do a flush. Throw these coffee parts away, right? It's a very nice part. Okay, hopefully the next shot will be the perfect shot for this coffee. Right. I like this glass. This glass is from DeLonghi. Dual wall. Right. Perfect espresso glass. Okay, so one more time. There's no acidity at all in this coffee, zero acidity. Um, just now it was a little bit over, so the hands will move towards the bitter side, but I can still taste the sweetness, slight sweetness at the back. So it's, I, I would say this coffee is probably, um, in my opinion, is pretty well blend. Right. right so let's pour in the coffee, 17.9 grams of coffee. 
Alright, let's put the dosing cup underneath directly to catch it. Right. Let's switch on the light to give you a better view. Just a minute. Okay, so let me switch on the light. Okay, so let's zoom in. Uh, before that, I have to do a little park preparation. Let's see whether I can put my phone here. Okay, not a very good angle. Okay. Okay, so... Let's grind. Okay, it doesn't grind totally. Currently, I'm only getting 16.9 grams out. getting 17.9 grams of coffee back with flapping all right so now let's try to uh, pull a shot of espresso so this contains 17.8 grams of coffee there's a little bit of coffee ground that comes out at the rim right. okay if you have a larger you no know, dosing cup no but if you are a larger dosing cup then it doesn't fit the 58 mm right Let's check out the grind quality. Right, it's pretty good grind quality for, grind, uh, for a building grinder. I'm just using my hand right, to level it. Mock up slightly. Not using any WDT. Just um, using hand to level and then tap so that you don't have to buy anything extra, right? Okay, press down. You can see how my hand moves. Yeah, this is the way I check whether my le uh, temp is level. Right, of course, using a this will be much better, right? This is the uh, Flash constant temper from MHW3 bomber, right? Just push and duck, uh, it give you constant 30 pounds of force, right? But this one you have to purchase separately. So for today, I'm just going to use everything stock, right? Of course, other than the dosing cup, right? Okay, let's use a puck screen. Don't forget it. Okay, let's extract coffee one more time, right? This is the third shot we are trying to dial in the coffee, right? Okay. Let me shift up my camera a little bit to give you a better view. Okay. So I hope this gives you a better view. Okay. Now let's extract coffee. Okay, pre-infusion set about 5 seconds, pressure is going up well, look at the espresso. Wow. Okay, look at that. Okay, <laughs> I think it's a pretty good shot, right, within about 30 seconds. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see more, right. Right, I think this is quite a good shot. I think the camera is trying to focus on my eye. Okay, so uh, I think I should get a spoon and then stir the espresso, then we taste it.
Okay, so let's stir the coffee. Wow, look at the caramel on the spoon. Wow, this is really syrupy. Wow, full body. Okay, let me see the chat now. Yeah, hi Gwen, Th thanks for joining. Yeah, I think just now um, uh, my camera sort of uh, lag. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's a streaming software that's lagging. Uh, I hope everything is okay now. Let's taste the coffee. That's a um, subtle sweetness. Very well bodied. There's a quite a nice, pleasant, uh, like a slight acidity there, very slight. But overall, it's a very good shot. Right, it's well balanced, a very creamy texture. Right, sweetness is there, slight acidity. Bitter aftertaste is almost gone. Um, there's really little bitterness at the back. So uh, I think this is a very good coffee, right? espresso so if you like espresso right this thing can um, actually also make an americano right uh, on the steam one at the side right there's actually uh, uh, you can actually push to the back to activate the steam one to become a hot water one and then if you want to use the steam right there's two stage steam there for you to actually adjust the steam power to suit whatever you need right uh, I can't bring my camera over there because now it's connected by a USB wire so let me do a one more shot, right? And then uh, for this shot, we're gonna make a milk-based coffee, right? And uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how the steam one uh, works, right? On the SMEG uh, ECF03, right? A semi-automatic built-in grinder cup of espresso machines, right? So let's get to that. This is a really pretty well dialed in. So I'm just gonna measure another 80 grams of coffee. You can see my laptop is just at the side so I can see everything else. Uh, this will be slightly different. Um, not too sure whether this is the best setting. It limits my mobility because I'm using a camera on tripod. But I think the tripod does give me a clearer uh, video quality. And also the built-in audio quality is already pretty okay, I think. All right. Let me know how the audio quality, right? Right, 18 gram exactly. So this time I'm going to use a, a latte, a cup, a smaller cup for latte. Right, and the top warming tray is actually pretty warm. So if you put your cups on top, right, it should be able to keep warm for a while. Right, so this is a, a very nice cup warming tray. Okay. Right, so let me just leave it at the top. Uh, I'm going to show you the steam tip over here, right? So if I activate the steam one to the back, it actually generate water. Show you again, right? You see water coming up? Yep, and if you push to the, to the side that's closer to you, one step, you will generate the steam. You can hear the palm, vibratory palm in the back. Right, this is the lower power steam, right? Of course, I can go full steam. Right, so you can see the steam is a lot more powerful. Right, you can actually have two step control over the steam one. So, which is pretty good, I would say, 
for a machine that is priced right, I think this in Singapore now is selling slightly below 1003 right? And if you buy from us or buy from Smack directly, right, uh, there's a two-year warranty other than uh, some sellers outside. They're actually selling at, uh, I don't know how where they get the stock from, right? And uh, we are actually the authorized dealer from Smack Singapore. Right, the part knocks out nicely. Right, see how clean the portal filter is. Let's a little bit. I think let's remove the grip tray first. I think it's, uh, it's almost full. Uh, one thing about the grip tray is there's a smaller volume. Right, but if you look at this, the way they designed the grip tray is pretty interesting. Right. Of course, this is where you know, the espresso spout will drain the water in. This is where the steam tip will drain the water. Right. This is the floater, whereby you can see whether it's full. Right. What is interesting is here. Right. This is where the coffee ground comes out. And if you remove the drip tray cover, right, you can see there's actually a cup here for you to contain the coffee ground so that it doesn't get into your the, the main tray itself. So this is a very good design, I believe. Right. And of course, below it, right, you can see all your tools and everything is still sealed and not open, right. So there's a back flush this uh, silicone disc there, uh, if uh, there's a need to do back flushing. Right. So now let's uh, grind the coffee. Same grind setting. Okay. I can't hold this cup. Okay. Let's use another cup there, right. I'm going to use the cup from DF64. Right, the reason for that is because you can, I, I believe you can hold that. that. Does it? Okay. No, it doesn't. Right, sorry. Okay, so I, I have to go back. Yeah, to the metal one. Okay, let's see how it grinds again. Okay. I'm getting 17.8 out already. Ah, now I'm getting 18.1. Right, so I think this is pretty okay. I'm almost getting no retention if I flat a little bit harder. Right, I think the software is not uh, very consistent. The streaming software that I use, uh, it will cause a bit of lagging. So let's do a little bit of park preparation. Throw this away. Okay, this time I'm going to use the MHW3 Bomber uh, flash temper, right? It, it makes the work a lot easier, right? You know what I mean? So basically here, right? This is already self-aligned. Push down, you hear a click, and that's it, done. Right, it's a lot more easy. And uh, because of the 50mm size powder filter, right, it just make it a lot easier. Okay, my cup is already slightly warm inside. Okay, but if you want it warmer, I'll just on the hot water. Rinse the cup a little bit. Right, so at least uh, it's hot. Okay, I didn't leave the cup there long enough. It's only slightly warm. Alright, so let's time the shot. Yeah, I think it's a pretty nice shot.
Okay, I'm able actually. I'm actually able to do uh, espresso extraction and you know steaming milk at the same time. But uh, I have to operate the cameras. Right, you can see how good and creamy the espresso is. It's really very good. Right. Okay, maybe I should make my stand taller so you can see better. Right. Look at this. Right. So now let's steam some milk. Okay, let's get the milk ready and then let's push the steam. Okay, I want to ensure that the water tank has enough water at the back. I can see this is actually touchable, it's not actually super hot. It is hot, right? If you hold it there for a long time, therefore you can see there's a rubber silicone here for you to hold. Let's get some water into the water tank. That should be enough for now. Right, so let's steam the milk. I usually prefer to remove the bottle filter so that it doesn't restrict my steaming. Touch again. Okay, I, I see whether I can get my camera closer, right? Pretty easy to texture. Oh yeah, it's quite easy to use. And the vortex is generated nicely. I think it's a single tip steam one. Right, I'm using the second step for steaming. I'm actually reducing it so that it's uh, slightly slower. Mm. Right. It's the quality of the milk. Right. Okay. Let's do a little bit of latte art. And then let's wrap up for today, right? Okay, let's try to get an angle right. Alright, so this is a, a, a demo on how the Smack ECF03, um, how easy it can be used and uh, a very good machine in my opinion, right, a very powerful machine and, and, and the price I think is just right. So cheers, thanks for joining me today, um, I can see everyone has left the live stream but it's fine, I think it's uh, late on the other part of the world. Right, so cheers, thanks for joining and I'll see you very soon. Let's try the coffee first.
Mm. Wow, this is sweet. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think um, this plan can stay in my cafe, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you for joining and I'll see you again.